Imagine creating the largest Roblox game, holding the throne for the most visits ever set in a single year. Many Roblox games do attract tons of popularity, but only 1% of them ever top the rest, being the game that represents the platform itself. Today, I'm going to rank the top games from each year, but to do that, we will have to go all the way back to the beginning, in 2007. Ultimate Paintball was created in May 2007 by the creator of Mike, who was at that time considered the wealthiest user on Roblox. His game was pretty simple. It contained two castles and flags, which each having a red and blue side, with walls to defend yourself from enemies. It also had moving bricks, which enabled you to get to the other side to capture their flag, as well as a map resetting every 10 minutes. Killing a player was worth 10 points, while dying made you lose 4 points. The team with the most points would win, and the game would reset again. Though, soon after its release, by July 2007, the game blew up as it gained over 30,000 visits in the same month, starting its first ever paintball tournament that consisted of 160 users sorted into 32 teams, with the top 5 winning the prize of the paintball tournament trophy. As the game grew through 2009, it would eventually be the first to ever hit 1 million visits, which Roblox itself made a blog celebrating the game's success, as well as the 2 million mark. However, the throne for the number one spot would eventually be taken by another game, Heli Wars. Heli Wars took over the Roblox platform back in 2010, surpassing Ultimate Paintball with the first game to ever hit 3 million visits. The creator of the famous game was a player named Drewsome B, to which his surprise blew up very quickly. The game basically consisted of a war between two military teams, Desert and Green. You had helicopters which had missiles, as well as laser rockets that shot very fast, and a bunch of other weapons. The goal was to capture their flag using vehicles like jeeps or on foot with guns. Soon, the game eventually hit 11 million visits during its release and 60 million visits currently, rising to the top of being one of the most popular games on Roblox. But sadly, it wouldn't update until July 4, 2019, which caused it to be surpassed in visits by none other than Survive the Disasters. Survive the Disaster was a very popular game back in 2011, where it was one of the first games to hit 10 million visits on the platform. It was developed by the creator Virus Dev and rose to fame by its fast action pace style, where players had to survive a wide variety of disasters for 30 seconds, similar to natural disasters. Surviving a disaster would earn the player 270 points, which could be used on the shop for helpful items, as well as the environment in the game that would change a certain amount of time. There were many different game passes users could buy, as well as over 60 disasters the game contained. Today, the game has been visited over 221 million times and updated regularly, but couldn't hold on to its new competitor, Base Wars, which had different plans. Base Wars became the face of Roblox in 2012 up in 2014, which was a third person shooting war game made by the creator Dark886. The game revolved around capturing the enemy's flag and featured a variety of levels for players, as well as many different types of vehicles, such as land, sea, and air, which made the game to be on the front page continuously for over one year. The game also had many different classes and weapons that each player could earn, which the game would be positively reviewed many times, and later would win the award for the user's choice game of the year at the Roblox Game Conference in 2012. As a result, Ace Wars has gained over 49 million visits in 2014, and was the first game to ever hit 3 million visits on Roblox. Though, the same cannot be said for this next game, as this game broke barriers to Roblox we thought was impossible. Work at a Pizza Place was one of Roblox's earliest and most popular games that started in 2007, which was originally named Work at the Krusty Krab. The creator, Ued1, was just 15 at the time, but the vision undoubtedly changed the game. However, his game would be taken down due to copyright reasons in early 2008, but remade it this time named Work at a Pizza Place. After the initial release, the game went straight to the front page, with over hundreds of people playing concurrently, motivating Duet 1 to update it even more. The game was somewhat simple. Players would work together at a pizza place to fill in orders and use their coins to upgrade their houses, buy furniture, and gears. There were also 6 total jobs in the game that all depended on each other, which because of the game's unique style, the game was the first to achieve 100 million visits on the platform and won many awards such as the best mobile game during the 4th Bloxy Awards and was nominated 3 times through 3 Bloxy Award shows. Though, this marked the beginning of a new era where online daters started to rise. For a couple of months, Roblox High School was the most visited game on the platform, created by Cindering, who was at that time actually hated Roblox. He originally named it Roblox Middle School, but had no desire to actually update it, until in 2014, where he rebranded it to Roblox High School. The game was very basic. You roleplay and earn money to buy gear, apartments, and cars. But you might be wondering, how did this simple game manage to get this many visits? Well, Cindering saw in 2014 that the roleplaying genre was one of the biggest genres in Roblox, motivating him to update his game, but didn't see the unforeseen growth of what we call online daters. The game was filled with online daters, being heavily criticized and even brought to the online forums. Cindering himself even had to add in the description to stop online dating, but this wouldn't really affect the game too much, as in late 2016, the game hit around 230 million visits and was actually nominated for the 2016 Bloxy Awards. However, in 2017, the game would start to fall off and eventually shut down due to being outdated and broken, similar to our next game, Prison Life. No introduction is needed for Prison Life, as its prison-themed 
role play survival game topped the front pitch daily in early 2017. The creator, Aesthetical, joined Roblox on the 1st of January 2014 for a New Year's resolution to make games on the platform. He created Prison Life as a simple game where he could choose to be a cop or an inmate with several weapons to use. But what he didn't know is that this simple game would change the future of Roblox forever. His simple yet intriguing game, Prison Life, gained over around 350 million visits in early 2017, making it the most visited game for a few months with over 40,000 current players and would average 25,000 players daily despite being rarely updated. The game would also win many awards such as the 2016 Block C Award and the Best International Hit Award which influenced many to keep playing. However, there was one issue. The game would not update. Many people criticized Prison Life for its buggy cars, bad weapons, and the poor design. It also decreased steadily due to its lack of anti-cheat in it and never updated in the game, causing many people to be mad. The game would eventually be left alone with no updates for 3 years due to Aesthetical being in university, which caused a loss in players and no longer reaching the top page, eventually getting beaten by its competitor. Jailbreak. What started as a passion, Asima3080 and Bad CC created a group called Bedemo in which they would release a game that would change the face of Roblox for many years. On April 21st, 2017, Bedemo would release the newest version of Prison Life, Jailbreak Beta. The community went ballistic with over 40,000 people playing concurrently on day one. The reason for Jailbreak's massive blow up was influenced by Prison Life, stating that they wanted to do more than the original game. But then three days later, they broke another record, reaching 75,000 concurrent players all time. But that was just the beginning. Since their release, Jailbreak was about to release one of their biggest updates ever that broke history, but not just for the game, but for Roblox itself. Today, I'm going to show you guys the brand new Jailbreak update. We have a brand new escape, a mini map in the bottom left corner, new map locations. So if you go over here, right by the visitor location, we're going to explode the wall right here. It's pretty creative. On August 13, 2017, Jailbreak was officially out of beta and officially a game, thus hitting over 100,000 current players, the first Roblox game ever. The update added many new features, such as a new minimap and a new prison escape. But after all that, Jailbreak didn't stop just yet. And as soon as the train goes over, we're gonna jump on it and hopefully get the red. This is how it's done. All right, all right, let's go. The train will fling you all over the place and fling you out of the train, but it seems to be working now, so that's good. We're gonna time out. I think. Oh my gosh, see that's- On December 23rd, 2018, the game surpassed over 121,000 current players, dominating the former record that was held by the 2017 Egg Hunt. The new winter update consisted of a new robbery cargo train, as well as a new winter map, which broke barriers to Roblox we thought was impossible. Because of Jailbreak's success, the game has over 20 nominations and 13 awards won at the 5th Annual Bloxy Awards, which actually made many people call the event rigged, as it won too many awards. The game in general has earned over 1 billion billion of Robux in his lifespan, making it the number one game in 2017.